Some important things to talk about, reference uh, the Bank of Canada. Economists uh, predicted this. It's kept its key interest rate steady at 5%. Uh, the bank's governors say they are encouraged by evidence that higher rates are restraining spending and helping bring inflation down. And joining us to talk about this is Clinton Wilkins, our mortgage guru here in studio. Clinton, uh, any no surprise here. You expected this, right? Oh, yeah, we expected this. We've been talking about this even for the weeks on end. I think what's really interesting, Todd, is what's going on with inflation, what's going on with the GDP. And really, the bond markets last week, it was a wild ride. We watch this stuff every single day. Uh, things are certainly starting to soften, which means that we're starting to see some rates come down already in terms of the fixed rates. So I think that's very, very interesting. Uh, we talked a lot about renewals during our last show for Financial Literacy Month. We had Brenna Charles on from First Canadian Title. And there are so many Canadians with their mortgage coming up for renewal, and people are very stressed. I can tell you, mm -hmm. we're we're talking to people this this month that have renewals here even in, later in December and early in January, and nobody's really having a great time. Uh, there's something like 4.3 million mortgages coming up in the next period of time, and a lot of those people are renewing into rates that are 40% plus higher than what they had. So mm -hmm. obviously it is an impact. Mm -hmm. um, but I think some interesting news. One really is around the job losses. Those are on the increase. And that really is indicating that we are going into a more recession type situation. Uh, GDP numbers were, were out and those have mm -hmm. now been uh, impacted. So good news, I think, for the rate environment maybe not so much good news for the job market or the economy. So, you know, it's a hard balance. And that's what the Bank of Canada is really trying to do. It's their only lever is this key overnight rate. Mm -hmm. They've been ha keeping it high. They've been maintaining it. And maintaining is a better situation, Todd, because at least people can plan. And I do think the rates are going to start softening midway through next year. So I'm talking June, July. Depending on what happens with inflation and the job numbers, you know, in the next couple of months, we might even see rates soften before then. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's some economists, like the chief economist for Scotiabank thinks the rates are 2% higher than they need to be right now. Well, yeah. And, but it's going to be a slow burn on the way down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, rates increase a lot faster than they decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mentioned the bond markets, and there's a direct correlation be between what the bond markets do, do and what inflation is doing and what interest rates are doing, right? These are connected? Yeah, the bond markets certainly impact the interest rates. So that's yeah. really what's impacting the cost of funds for these lenders. Mm -hmm. We saw lenders already cutting rates as of the last, you know, end of last week. If through the weekend, the beginning of this week, we're starting to see lower rates. I would venture to guess, and we're going to start seeing rates maybe start with a four. I think that's great news. Mm -hmm. Really, the rates over the last several period have been five, six, seven percent. So I think if we can get rates back into a four percent type range, or even starting with a four, mm -hmm. that is going to start stimulating uh, some activity. I can tell you things are not you know, transacting as much. I think a lot of people are waiting on the fence. Mm -hmm. My fear is once we start seeing some reductions here in the rate. We're going to put a lot of gas in the fire, and there's a lot of pent-up demand mm -hmm. in terms of mortgage borrowing. Canadians are at an all-time high in terms of their, um, you know, indebtedness, and we're talking about unsecured debt. You know, we've been spending, so I really implore people. You know, the next six months I think are still going to be tough. You know, inflation-wise, let's pay down our debt and let's put some money in the bank because I think by summer next year, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to be in a better uh, climate in terms of the rate environment. That's going to be balanced out by what's going to be going on with the job market. And I think that's a little bit of TBD. Okay. So I think people who hit the real sweet spot would have been those in like, say, 2020 who had a five-year fixed at that time, right? Because they're kind of going to be able to ride this out until that might come down and renewing with a four in front of it, right? Yeah. I think like early, mid, sorry, mid, late, even 2020, the rates were quite low. Like yeah. we're talking like sub 2%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the challenge is that obviously there is no crystal ball. I think those people, you know, this was a finite period of time and a lot of people did take a fixed rate. You know, 60% of Canadians do do like a five-year fix, for example. Mm -hmm. The challenge is historically... Canadians break their mortgage early, Todd, and that mm -hmm. is where it is challenging. Yeah. On average, Canadians break their mortgage like 42 months or something like that. So we're talking like three and a half years people are breaking their mortgage or doing a transaction. Um, so some of those mortgages are not going to last to maturity, but I think 
people will hold on now for yeah. as long as they can. Mm. And sometimes that will even put them in a worse financial position. We see so many Canadians right now and people in Halifax that, you know, have this unsecured debt. And a lot of people have benefited from their property values really increasing. We, you and I both, mm -hmm. we're both in a yep, situation yep. where we bought properties we did, and yep. we, we benefited from Huge. the the, the market yep. uh, increasing. Sometimes people really need to look at their financial position. And, you know, we're going to talk about that obviously more in January. But I think coming out in November, December is so challenging for people, you know, around the holidays. As you know, people overspend. And, you know, I think going into the new year, it's always nice kind of having a fresh start and really, or at least owning your financial position. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're going to see maybe more of that going into 2024. I think financial health is so, so important. And it's it's as important or more important than, you know, your physical health. You know, it's always like people get back to the gym and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I think a focus on, you know, finances and obviously mortgage is a huge piece of your finances. I mm -hmm. think that's really important for 2024 as well. All right. So I guess uh, not, a, not a cut, but but holding it steady is a Christmas gift. I, I, I really do think it's a yeah. gift. You know, we were really in an increasing rate environment for so long, Todd, that people, people are like, they're dreading getting an email from you. They're mm -hmm. dreading me coming yeah. on sitting City News, giving an update. Yeah. Maintaining is a lot easier to, you know, palette. Yeah. You know, I think people can plan and say, okay, it's going to be high. We can now maintain and we can make some plans over the next six months. And then hopefully after that period, we're going to start seeing some things softening. So I think mm -hmm. good news going into the new year. The Bank of Canada is going to be meeting again on January 24th. That's the last Wednesday, basically in January. Mm -hmm. And I think likely we're going to see a maintain as well. I think a lot's going to have to... Uh, be determined by what happens with inflation and mm. the job numbers. So we're yeah. certainly be, going to be watching closely uh, with that as well. Okay, and we'll be certainly chatting uh, in the new year. We will be chatting in the new year. And this might be our, our last time together here uh, yeah. in 2023. Yeah. And you know what? I thank, thank you, Todd, for having obvi obviously on, us on. Thanks for your help with uh, Mortgage 101. I think we did so much education this Absolutely. year, which is, I think, which is I, awesome. I think, I think the show was hands down the best year we've had. Yeah, we had really yeah. a lot of amazing guests as well. Yeah, and we we're going to yeah. have a great lineup for 2024. You know, Todd and I are going to be getting together and do some, you know, planning and figuring out mm -hmm. what next year is going to look like. I'm excited. And, you know, we have such great support from our listeners. I get so many people reaching out just even with a basic question. And I love that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really all about education. And I hope that we can provide as much value to the listeners here going forward. Okay. And uh, I'm sure we'll be chatting before then off and on, uh, but uh, to your team, Merry Christmas to all you guys. Thank Happy you. Happy New Year and all yeah, that jazz. To, to you too, Todd. You know, yeah. I, I think it's, we're kind of in the down downturn here now in terms of getting things cleaned up. I'm excited to have a break and I'm sure everybody else is as well. Mm -hmm. You know, the last three, three and a half years have been a breakneck. And, you know, I think taking a little bit of time is great. And I'm excited to come back in January and really hit the, uh, hit the ground running as, as we, as we always do. <laughs> so I think it should be certainly an interesting 2024. I think 2024 is going to be similar to 2023, but I think if we start seeing some softening in terms of the rates, mm -hmm. it's going to excite people. I think it's going to put people in a better financial position. And that's really what, you know, I'm excited for. Okay. Great stuff. Clinton Wilkins. Uh, we'll, we'll see you in the new year. Thanks for having me, Todd. Okay. Clinton Wilkins, our mortgage guru.